Hi there, this is Tal from Talek.com and today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Drupal 7 or WordPress or any other PHP based MySQL website or CMS uh, software. And we're going to do it from scratch by installing firstly Ubuntu server and then installing all the other uh, software that we need on it. So let's start. Burn your Ubuntu CD. This is Ubuntu Server 12.04. We're going to start by pressing install Ubuntu Server. I'm going to choose English and United States. We don't need the keyboard layouts. Most of the defaults here are pretty decent. And we just let this do his thing. Many configuration going to be taken care of by the system, by the disk, some of the network, and some of the name. You can choose any name that you like. I'm going just to choose this one. Mostly the default are pretty good. Name for the user. I'm going to select Taleg and the name of the account. Password. Of course, you don't want to use the weak password for the real size, but for the tutorial is good enough. And uh, Ubuntu is going to ask us a couple of questions now. If we want to use Guidant and LVM, which is pretty good, so we're going to accept the defaults now. Here Ubuntu will really, really will try hard not to format our hard drive, but we need to format our hard drive. So we have to say yes a lot. And this is the last chance to say no if you, for some bizarre reason, I don't know, uh, uh, didn't want to format your uh, hard drive, but on a clean installation we probably would. So again, we have to say yes. And Ubuntu will create the file system and everything else. I'm going to just pause a little bit. So you don't have to see the whole process, which is fully automated. At the end, Ubuntu will ask you if you have any HTTP proxy. So just cancel this one. Then we'll wait for Aptitude to bring the updates. Aptitude is running, getting all the updates, the upgrades. Now it's asking us if we want uh, to use automatic updates. You can say whatever you like. I would say no. You can actually go to my site and uh, see a lot of scripts that uh, can enable you to do any kind of update that you like. Now, here's the thing. Uh, we got software selection and choose software to install. We have a lot of options. And uh, the one that we uh, will use is the LAMP server, but we are not going to choose it. Why? We are going to install the LAMP server manually for a couple of reasons. First reason is, on a clean install like this one, it would be a really cool thing with MySQL running and PHP running and everything configured. Problem is, it's going to be an old version of all these products. If you want to get a new version, we have to install them. If you already installed a LAMP server, you can keep the script and it will reinstall or update the software part. So there is no point in installing old ones than the new ones. So the first thing is we want to be up to date. Second thing is this is a tutorial. We are here to learn, so we are going to start from scratch, and it will make everybody feel more knowledgeable. And the third one is you might go to a server which has not been uh, uh, fresh installed. You got the server that already has Ubuntu, and then you only want to add a couple of things. So the only thing that we are going to choose is OpenSSH server, which must be installed on your remote server because otherwise you cannot access it. And we let uh, Ubuntu configure the rest. Okay, now Drupal. Uh, sorry, now Ubuntu asks us if we want to install Grab. We just say yes to this. And Ubuntu will install Grub, which is basically manage uh, operating system on the hard drive. Even if we have one, it's 
still very recommended to do so. Then we're done. We need to uh, remove the CD. I'm actually using VirtualBox, but uh, on a regular on an actual machine, what would ask you to remove the CD? You can actually keep the CD as long as you configure the BIOS to load from the hard drive next time. And so uh, just reboot and continue.